right, guys, welcome back. We're building again, back at it already. And uh, for this episode, as promised, we are going to be working on the university campus. And what I've gone ahead and done uh, is downloaded some more assets, and I've um, uh, turned some of the older mods back on. So Rush Hour, we got that one back on. Uh, the No Pillars, that one's up and running, so we can probably go a little bit more creative, um, or be a little bit more creative with our builds now. Uh, so basically my plan... Oh, and the other thing too, since we're using the Rush Hour mod, um, I'm going to try and keep the time kind of static, so I'm not really going to jump around too much. So we're going to be playing a little bit more at night. Um, I mean, if needs be, I'll pause during the day just to kind of give us optimal sunlight, but I mean, we rarely see the city at night. I mean, I know it's a little bit easier to build um, and see things obviously during the day, but we'll mix it up. Anyway, what I want to do for over here is just have these guys turn into tram tracks, and then I want to have a slight approach... Uh, kind of come in like this, and then we can put some parks or something lining our little entranceway. And then we'll have a little bit of a box shape, and we can kind of build a slight little round thing around it. We're going to have to be kind of aware of the space, though, so I'm not sure if we're able to kind of finish the uh, university campus. I do actually want to push a little bit further out. Shoot, I didn't realize we're actually this much um, cut off. Okay, well, we're so close to our next milestone. Oh my goodness, I should just stop stressing about that, right? Well, what if we did some zoning, just like really quickly, would that, I think, kind of solve our, our problem? I think it would. So, why don't we just like, very simply zone, say, over in this spot. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of high density zoning. Now, I imagine over here it'll be a little bit loud just because of those train tracks, so let's go like this. That is commercial. And maybe just a few office buildings. Again, it's a little bit of a sound barrier. We could even make that just a little bit more. It also kind of varies the height a little bit, too. And then what we can do, because I did say I wanted to keep these as a, um, a lower kind of um, uh, looking kind of area, we're going to put in a district over here. And not really as clean. We can probably do that a little bit nicer. Okay, so the way I, I make the other ones look so clean, right, like these ones here, is uh, if you use a small one and just kind of follow the uh, the roads along. So let's go from there to there. It just kind of snaps. And so what I'm doing is just building a district right here, which we'll expand upon. And then I'm going to use a mod called the Building Level Up Cap. And then we're going to stop our buildings from becoming skyscrapers. But because we're using the um, high density buildings they're going to be a little bit bigger so think of them as like small apartment buildings that are like maybe you know three or four floors just a little bit bigger than the average housing kind of complex there we go and then we'll just fill this in and i haven't done one in a while and i'll be doing one pretty soon because i haven't uh you know been naming anything after you guys right so expect that kind of uh, stuff to be happening soon so we can fall a little bit behind in that but haven't forgot about you guys we gotta fill in this whole area, right? And then all of this over here too. And then this little, one little spot right there. Okay. Now that we have our district set up, what I'm gonna do is just cap the uh, the buildings right here. So I don't want anything expanding past this point. So let's, you know, cap everything, right? That way, no skyscrapers. We might see some buildings change. Um, they may even kind of downscale right now, like these ones that were gonna kind of be tall. But we're trying to avoid this look. We'll kind of save that for over here. So obviously not instant. We'll check on this over time. But the goal is just again to have some people moving in as we're doing our construction over at the university. Okay, so just gotta remember not to go too far out. And I'm debating whether I actually want to keep the rush hour mod. So I'm noticing already that the game is slightly slower. Especially when I scroll around a little bit. But in terms of traffic behavior, everything seems so much better in the city. So I kind of like it for that, but it's just the extra strain on the hard drive, or not the hard drive, sorry, on the uh, CPU. It's just, it's a little bit, you can kind of see when I zoom in and out, right? It's a little bit slow, I don't know. So maybe I won't have it on next episode, we'll see, because I don't know if the city's a little bit too big for it or not, but a few of you suggested that I put it back on. So I did, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, off to building. Alright, so we'll upgrade, yeah, I guess we'll start with upgrading these right here. 
So we'll go to our trams. So many options. Okay. One ways. And let's just turn on the old arrows. And we can click and drag. I keep forgetting that. It's one of those like teaching the old dog new tricks kind of thing, right? And so many of you like, always tell me the really cool handy things, but I totally forget to use them, especially in like, you know, the heat of the moment when I'm recording, right? And sometimes when you're recording, just, you know, stuff just kind of passes you by, I guess is a good way to put it. Now, are these bus lanes underneath here? It looks like they are. So our trams, I guess, are just going to come through here, and we have the back way over there. Right, well, that's not so bad. Now, here's a million-dollar question. Do we approach with trams this way, or do we have a ring road kind of going, you know, in a big kind of semicircle with trams like that, and then leave the inside for buses? Or do we do both inside? Hmm. Well, we are going to have a really big university campus, so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having like, multiple sets of trams coming through. I mean, we're obviously going to have a bigger city than this, so I don't see why we couldn't have one kind of start in a different part of town. Yeah, let's kind of plan for, for that. All right, so let's do some decent spacing here. So let's say around 30 units. Is that the 30 unit mark right there? Okay, so that's 30 units. And I'm gonna go say 40, and that should still just be enough room to maybe hint at. Oh yes! Oh perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I'm after. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so remember that number, guys. 40. And then over here it was 30 across. Again, find the 30 mark. Perfect. Or what we could do is go across 60. Or that won't work, right? Because that's not. Okay, don't do that. My gorilla math here not working, right? So we'll double check everything afterwards, though. Okay, 30, yes, yeah, I would have gone. Not good. Okay, now these are even steven. Now, here is going to be the hard part. What should we do? 20 by 20? Is that a good. Actually, we can probably make it a little bit, a little bit more, more curved, make it a bit bigger. I, I want to put like a big sports stadium over here, so we're going to have a really big uh, big college campus just in general here. Or university campus, I don't know what you want to call it. I think we'll stick with the university actually. I think university campus is generally are bigger, but again, that's not really a true statement, you know, so it depends. But our higher education area here. Oh, interesting. Those almost line up perfectly. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I like that. All right. Cool. That's nice and big. And we can still kind of zone around that, too. Especially when we get the uh, more tiles. All right, so... What we'll probably have to do is a two-way right here. Say through... Like that. And then these can just go like this. Yeah, that's fine. Just kind of turn around right there or so. And you know what we could do, just to make things a little bit more fun. I don't want to say this is boring, but you know, let's let's make it. Yeah, let's do something cool here. Is we can have trams come in here and kind of maybe turn around like that. And maybe they can link up. Maybe this can be like a big kind of roundabout for Oh yeah, hmm, that's a cool idea actually. Why not, right? Okay, so just tram tracks. Um, okay, how are we gonna do this? Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. We've done this kind of stuff before. So that's five units. Cross like this. And I mean, let's go a little bit big on this. Maybe seven by seven. Um, okay, so actually what I'm gonna use, and then I'm gonna upgrade afterwards, are uh, these things. Okay, so seven, I get better snapping with this. A little bit more exact. Okay, so seven by seven. It's over by five.
cool. Okay, now upgrade this. Yes. We are cooking, and I like it. And there we go. I really like it. I wonder if these should be kind of... Well, no, because there's... No, actually, I don't know. Hmm. Let's kind of see what that looks like, maybe. So let's see if we go up to six or so. And then maybe we can get that nice little curve. You know how sometimes it kind of... No, I guess not. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's see if we can hopefully get that over here. Oh, come on. Well, this is not uh, working the way I thought it would. If I can't get these to line up... Oh, there's a little bit of it. Then I might just abandon the project here. Yeah, I'll keep it. That's that's not too bad. Just slightly, uh, slightly off, but... Okay, now these, given that they're so close, might just want to kind of curve outward like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, very nice. Okay, let's double check our directions here. Perfect. Alright. That's a better shape. I like this way more. Now, just to make this look a little bit nicer, what I think we're going to do is add some pedestrian pathways. But in order for us to get a nice kind of symmetrical look, wonder. I don't think I've ever even tried this. Can we upgrade to a pedestrian pathway? That would be absolutely crazy. I guess not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go like this. And then this now makes kind of like a corridor. And then we can line that with like trees and, and benches, you know, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's starting to come together rather nicely. Yeah, it's the same idea over here. And there's no sense in connecting a road, because like there's no I mean there really is no point. You can't drive on these, right? This is a pedestrian only zone. So yeah, get out of here. I need to the road maintenance vehicle. So do your job and then leave. Don't drive on over here. But maybe do if it helps. I don't know. I'm not your boss. I'm just your mayor. Okay. Too much bureaucracy if I were to be everyone's boss, right? That's not how cities work anyway. In. There, neat. Now I wonder if we could do something like a bridge. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I mean, let's try something here. Why not? We're adventurous. Okay, so is nine enough for the height? I think so. A little bit indecisive here for my starting point. And. Okay. Yeah, I think trams can pass through that. No problem. And so we'll bring this down. And say go... Hmm, let's go far. Oh, darn it. Uh, now, I wonder what we can do in this case. I do ideally want to get both sides involved. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. I think that was five units for the uh, downslope. Oh boy. Doesn't have to be exact though. I like that. That's a bit nicer. That one. Oh, who knows who drew that, right? Let's try that again. Yeah, slightly better. I'll, I'll allow it though. And then again, we'll put some trees in here or something like that, right? Okay, so university buildings, those are obviously a must. Now, I'm thinking maybe we should have a bike lane network also go through here. That's probably a smart thing to do. Why would we not do that, right? And so the bike lanes themselves, they don't necessarily have to go all the way up here as a road. It can be also... Maybe we can connect over here, actually. Hmm. 
All right, well, let's put a bike lane right through the middle. There we go. Let's see if we can get the eyeball out over here, too. Looking good. And then now, where is this coming from? That is a million dollar question right here. Now, if we were really good, we would curve these as well, and that's like just, ooh, fendissimo for symmetry. Oh boy, okay, I'm up for the challenge, but oh my goodness. Um, okay, I think in order to achieve this, we may have to draw some little cheater roads just to kind of help us. So let's do this. Oh, and we did say we wanted a bus to come through here. So why don't we do the buses? Oh, that can be the breakaway. Oh, cool. Oh yes, I quite like what you're going where you're going with this. Um, it would be so neat. Hmm. If like we could make a small road, do this with small roads with bus lanes. I guess it really wouldn't make much sense though. But have that kind of go. You know, connect over to here. Darn! I wonder if we could upgrade this. No, the subway's too close. Have we built our subway lines? I honestly don't remember if we have on this side. I think we have, though. Yeah, we totally have. Oh, there's no line in place. Oh, winner, 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 winner. You are so good. Okay. Ah, oh, this stuff never happens. I mean, in reality, we could probably just obviously change the subway line. That's not hard to do. So what I'm doing is I'm moving this over by one just so I can upgrade this road to accommodate bus lanes. I think I obviously have a little bit more traffic, but that connects these bus lanes basically to the university. And then we can have like a looping kind of thing. The, obviously, the bus lanes, they do end here to accommodate the, tra uh, the tram tracks, but this, you know, get buses a little bit closer, a little bit faster. Okay, so which one should we do first? <clears throat> I think since this has the smallest curve, we should probably do this one. It's going to be a little bit odd getting this one in place. I think the best way to probably do it is just to go like this and then curve the last a little bit. Hmm. I, I mean, not too bad. I, I think I have to kind of see how the other ones are going to look, though. And again, these are the roads that have the, uh, the bicycle lanes. So we can just try and free draw this. We might just do that first. Maybe we'll do a starting point over here. Okay, if I were more or less the center of this, where would I be? Say about here, that looks nice. Looks right to me. Oh, that's really nice. And I think it does work well enough with this. Ideally, I think what we need to do is have that come a little bit further out, but we're keeping this spot the way it is just because of the, um, the park. I mean, there's really nothing stopping us from moving this that... Oh boy, what do you think? What are you considering here, my friend? All right, who are we affecting? Well, I mean, really no one. All right, yeah, you can do it, go ahead. Have your fun. Destroy everything we work so hard on. I'm so dramatic over nothing. When in reality, this is like really easy to do. So what I'm going for now is again the same kind of look. But with say enough spacing that our curve doesn't kind of get too too thrown off. I may actually have to go over by one even. I just remember where that one was. Try this out. Okay. Maybe even over by one again. No, I think that's okay. Forget what I just said. We're good. But yeah, that was worth it. That's that looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Yep, I totally like this. Okay, so now we will reconnect this down to here. We will go back to our one-way roads over here. 
Oops, those are already on. That is that reconnected. Now, for the sake of just getting people in and out of that subway station a little bit faster, why don't we do something like this, too? And, you know what, let's just do that as well. Why not? We're on a roll here. We're doing it. I kind of think this is like a little back alley. Um, yes. That's the one. Oh, very nice. Wow, that was honestly, that was so worth it. I just love the way this kind of flows now. Especially if this goes straight and then goes, say, probably underneath, I think, realistically. And then maybe comes out and goes straight into this. Oh, yes. I, I like, oh my goodness, guys, I got a big smile on my face. The city is really coming together. I'm really happy. And we haven't really done all that much up here yet. Okay, so we definitely should be putting something up in this quadrant. Oh, there's something up over here already, that's right. Um, I mean, realistically, what we could do... I'm having another one of my crazy moments here. Now that we have the key anarchy, we can maybe rethink this um, highway. And what we could maybe do... I mean, since this is still really early in the uh, development, right? Is we can make ourselves um, a sunken highway here using the keys. Because i got the key anarchy on. And so we can basically just draw those anywhere, theoretically. I'm just kind of referring, you know, to these guys here, right? And so if we build... But the thing is, like, how do we get these going straight? See, if we do something like this, right? I know we're kind of deviating from the uh, university. I just kind of want to show you guys what I mean. And I'm not going to delete all of this, just in case we can kind of change our minds, but... Just enough that we can kind of, you know, get something going here. So we'll keep these things just for reference points. But what you can do, oh boy, get back here, is um, we'll start going down. And then we'll click and drag. But we basically bring this down. We use the key as the, um, as the wall. And then, oops, we don't do that. Hopefully fill that back in. And then when you run into instances, see like right here, it's not gonna fill in on both sides. Just delete this. And then do your terraforming. And then put the key back in. Unfortunately, it does that. I wanna say often, but, I mean, often enough, but I mean, there's no need to stress, you know, just kind of the way the game is. So that just goes back in like that. And there we go. And now we're left with this kind of really cool little valley right here. And then we would take out the trees. And here we are doing a university episode and I'm building the uh, sunken highway. And then what we would do is we'd leave enough space on the outside so that we can still have on and off ramps. But we'd still, uh, well, actually I'll expand this a little bit just to kind of show you what I mean here. Again, this is not my intention. I, I was totally... We are going to work on the university. This is just totally a little bit of a... I don't know. A little bit of a detour. And yes, that's a terrible road pun. You get it? Detour because you're driving. And we're detouring from our... Oh, goodness. Just stop. Who... Who writes this stuff? Oh, my goodness. Sadly, it's me. I don't actually write it, but... It just comes to me. But it's not that funny, so I shouldn't brag about it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. I have one of those weird days today. Like, today is Thursday, but I keep thinking today is Friday. I don't know I don't know what's going on. And in my head, I just get that comfortable thought. Like, well, you know, it's, it's Friday. No worries, you know. But then I look, and everyone... And I'm like, Thursday? I'm like, what? When did this happen? So, here we are. Thursday. Oh, well. Oh, right. This is, um... Curving. Um, okay. Well, we're not... I mean, the trains... We, it's not hard to do that again. We prove that. Okay, so picture highway coming down. It looks lovely. And then we would have roads going over top like this. And probably have to raise that just a little bit. Oop. So maybe say a three. 
there we go. And then from here, we'd have one of these roads come down. And just wherever the snap point wants us, wants us to be type thing. Oops, I don't know why that's not uh, cooperating with me. That's so strange, it won't let me do um, a ground level road there. What I want to do is something like this though, right? I just have to kind of get the, the highways to snap. Yeah, there we go. I'd make that look a little bit more, you know, level and straight or whatever, but theoretically, this is essentially what we're going for. So I think we should probably do that for the kind of stretch of this highway. And then when we have a couple, um, I'll just leave that as it is. When we have a couple off ramps or um, maybe say big interchanges, when you leave the highway, that's when we can have our little um, toll booth set up. I, I'm working on another time lapse. The Toronto thing is kind of on hold because the game keeps getting updated. I'm actually a little bit frustrated with that. So I'm I'm actually going to take an entirely different approach with that because I was trying to do everything by hand before. But now I'm, I'm going to do one of those kind of image overlay things that everyone seems to be doing online. Okay, so I mean, forget this. Let's just, let's kind of go back to our university. But you guys can kind of see like the plan for that. So that'll be kind of you know down the road, right? So I do want to mix it up and have a few types of university buildings over here. Just to kind of make it seem like it's a really, like, you know, multi-purpose kind of campus. And so we can have, say, this over here as, like, one of the wings, you know. This could be, like, the medical wing, because there's a little bit of red or something in it, right? And then over on this side, we can do one of the older ones. Or we could even do... So I'm, I'm a fan of symmetry. I mean, we just could probably put one at the very top right here that looks very, like, university-like. Like, say, like, one of, um... Oh my, this is a really big one here. Like, something like this, right? Just to fit in that middle spot. Oh, that's off by one. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious me. Well, lesson learned. We probably should have made that a different spacing. But I'm sure we can find something that works in there. But that way it lines up, you know, really well with everything else, right? Ooh, does this work? Mm, I think that's going to be an issue for all of them. Let's explore a couple options, but I think I might use this one here. Okay. Let's see how this one looks. Oh yeah, we can use that. Oh yes. Yes, totally yes. Okay, so that'll go at the very top. I quite like that. I'd like to find... Actually, I have the perfect thing in mind to go right here, but I don't think it's going to fit. I think I need a 4x4 four four for it. But I'm still going to check anyway. Oh, and our poor budget. We're in the negatives. Got to work on improving our, uh, our nighttime budget. Okay, what am I looking for here? Where are you? I think it's a little bit earlier. Hmm. It's kind of like a little tower thing. And, um... Actually, a couple I have in mind. When I see it, I will point it out, but... So far, no luck. Oh, well, of course, we should be looking like this. Make things easier. We could do this. Ooh. Ooh, this might fit in here. No, darn it. Yeah, see, most of these things are 4x4, four four, right? Not what I was looking for, though, but... Still a cool building. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, well, there it is. Oh, wow, this thing is huge. Oh, no way. Oh, but that would look beautiful. Oops. Um, in the middle here. Okay, can we make this happen? Um, hmm. We'll have to rethink this pedestrian path, but I think that's totally fine by me. I'm just going to get rid of this. We'll put something in afterwards once we uh, get the shape kind of going in here. Okay, so... This should look really cool. Now, I mean, obviously we have nothing for point of reference besides just our, you know, our old eyeballs here. So we'll do our best to kind of line this up. Oh, we do need transport. Well, since that is the case, what I'm tempted to do is um, do a little ring road here and then maybe a tunnel. Or oh, I don't know if it's taboo to put drivers on this. Especially for the sake of just putting, you know, this in. That looks so neat, though, doesn't it? 
Well, let's, let's kind of see how this looks first. And arrows off, please. Yeah, it's actually if we put like some spotlight in here. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to keep it. I think we'll make this work. Okay. And, of course, that won't work. Well, that's not good. Um, Alright, well, let's redo this. Put these in. Not off to a good start, unfortunately. Alright, well, we, we know how this works. And a seven. Okay. Oh, luckily it didn't destroy our um, pedestrian pathways. Okay, so... We'll do that. Not a problem, though. And, oh, well, that's interesting. Cross your fingers here that this will still reconnect. Probably won't. No, of course not. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I want to keep this just for the point of reference. But I need to delete this part. So we're putting that road there just to kind of save that. And now this has to be five units long. So unfortunately, we're talking about this the really hard way. Well, that's good. This outlines up. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point, to be honest with you. I will take whatever we can get, and then maybe we can clean it up afterwards once this maybe have us in, you know. That's yeah, seven by seven. Let's get rid of that. And then hopefully that's just a straight line. That's no. Nope, nope, nope. So what we'll do is go like this. Seven by seven. And then now this should be five units, and it is. Excellent. And no more needing to leave. That's perfect. Okay, so these also need to be updated. Updated? No, no, don't delete. Upgrade. Oh boy. Okay, now can we get a nice curve, say, on this? I'll even take that, to be honest with you. Right, let's take whatever we can get. Oh, did I not use, um, there is no justice. Okay, good. I thought I couldn't upgrade that, um, that road there, and I was like, oh boy. Um, no, we're safe. Okay. And again, I'll just kind of take whatever connection we can get. I'm trying to get the nicest little curve there, but I think that's all she wrote. And since we have to destroy that, at least we'll make them look a little bit more symmetrical. Oh, look at that. I was not expecting that. Okay. Now, why is this suddenly connected? I guess it's close enough. So that's actually extraordinarily convenient because we still kind of keep that same look. All right, now... I'm inclined to keep this as it is simply because we have the sidewalks, which are a little bit more predominantly, you know, shown here versus versus um, uh, just the tram tracks on their own. So I don't think we'll put the bridge back in, basically. <clears throat> and yeah, I think we'll kind of keep it as it is. I don't really want people to um, cross too much in front of the uh, trams anyhow. And I'm, I'm tempted to maybe put, I don't even know here, maybe one path kind of going through. Kind of like this, maybe. Well, that side's not going to line up. Um, unless I can get that. Yeah. Okay. And then I would like to put, again, some trees, some benches. But a good little start, I think. Good little start indeed, even though we did get a little bit sidetracked. But those things sometimes happen. Oh. 
Cool, cool, cool. Didn't quite make that. Let's see if we can get that connection to work. Now, in instances like this, there we go. Okay, he's gotta be a little bit creative, but there's always ways to make things work, but then you end up sometimes with this, so. I think it was a little bit better before. Um, there we go, that's what I'm after. Alright, moral of my story there is don't 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 give up. And, you know, don't feel like you have to settle in this game, right? I feel like a lot of grievances for this game kind of come from people not taking the time to go the extra little step. So what they kind of produce is not really what they were after. And then they kind of blame the game mechanics. But they are, you know, they are what they are, right? You can only make them so good. And I think, you know, if you use them properly, they're a pretty good tool. But little things like this, you know, they kind of, I like them. So they're kind of worth, you know, worth taking the uh, extra few minutes to do. Okay, right, let's put in some spotlighting. And then, my goodness, we're kind of out of time, you know? So I think we'll have to end off the uh, episode after that. So we'll put on the prop anarchy here, just so we can put these wherever we want. Let's put a couple on the corners, right? Oh yeah, that's looking great. And then something else that I've been meaning to do since forever. Oh, look how lovely that looks. And we'll put some lighting over here too. Is I'm gonna pause the game just so we still have a bit of lighting. Is um, I wish I had a bit of a shallow kind of. See, like over here, for example, right? What you would do is underwater, you would put these in. So you kind of light up the bridge from underneath. And I would do a better job, I think, just of you know making those symmetrical. Can't really get the angle I'm looking for here. I wanted to put one on on the you know. Say from a distance though, right? Like, look how cool that kind of looks, just having under lighting. So I'm thinking of doing that maybe for some of the um, some of the bridges and whatnot in town. And of course I've lost the uh, point. And then this is all part of the um, more beautification, not more beautification, sorry. This is the, um, goodness, what is it called? Um, the name eludes me, I'm so sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag on the mod list in the description here, and I'm going to kind of remove the ones that are redundant. It's the more beautification mod. I think that's what it is, but I don't think that's correct, but that's the one I think it is. Yeah, it is. What am I saying? The one I thought that I was confusing it with, sorry, was the extra landscaping tool. So it is the more beautification mod. So look for that. And then again, I'll post that in the description regardless. So we didn't really do all that much for the university, unfortunately, and we're entirely out of time. But come back next episode, and we'll definitely continue to work on this because we have so much more that we can do over here and I just ruined our little pathways in the back but just something like that even you know kind of makes this place look a little bit more you know authentic okay so we'll put these paths back in and then we'll, we'll call our call our regrets I like it and see a path coming out just from right there and one going like this Oh, you know would be perfect if that... Oh my goodness, that would be so cool. Can we do that somehow? I wish there was like an anarchy tool to make that possible. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, beggars can't be choosers. We can always put some... Um, something else over there, some trees. All right, well, that's it, guys. Speed back on. Our city is coming along quite nicely. And I love this shape. Holy smoke. So this will continue to go straight. And then... We might have this curve inside as well. We actually didn't put that one in. But yes, very good first little attempt. All right, guys, I look forward to the comments. Let me know what you think. And um, tell me what kind of sports stuff we should do over here. So we have big open spaces on the sides. So we'll do a couple big sports arenas. So you guys let me know. And um, yeah, we're going to put some parking lots and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, I look forward to reading the comments, like I said. And then until the next episode, take care of yourselves, guys.